Hello family, how is everyone doing today? I hope everyone is well. Let's talk about it family. Y'all see absent. Yes, uh, Tiffany was a no-show at the last meeting. Yes, and not only was she a no-show, her whole administration was a no-show. Why is that? Let's talk about it, family, because let's address the real issue of that no-show that they had. Yeah, we're going to talk real deep about that, family. Please get your coffee, your tea, and everything. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you to all the moderators. Thank you to all the subscribers. Thank you to the people that be in the chat. Just thank you to everyone who leaves nice comments in the comment section and engaging with the channel. Appreciate it so much. I can't tell y'all how grateful we are for all of y'all support that y'all give the Cafe of Knowledge. So thank you once again. So let's get right on into addressing the real issue of these no-shows, because it just wasn't only Tiffany. It was her administration as well. Mm -hmm. So, they all was absent. So, let's go right on into it. This video is under fair use, copyright disclaimer, under Section 107 of Copyright Acts in 1976. Allowances made for fair use for purpose such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, and personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. All rights and credit go directly to its rightful owner. This video is purely for fair use. Opinion and entertainment. Enjoy. Yes, uh-huh. Enjoy. So, let's talk about that, family, because what I wanted to talk about as well is they had the meeting April the 8th. And this article came out. I just didn't, we saw it, but we didn't say anything at the time. But now that uh, Miss Lightfoot has been appointed to investigate the hen, uh, I just wanted to bring this up, you know. Um, I didn't want to say anything before uh, they had the meeting. But here you'll see this article was done on the 5th, three days before the meeting happened. And if you see that, this is the NBC Chicago um, article. It says, Dothan trustees appoint former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot to lead investigation in the, you know, essay allegations that they have. But the thing we was just noticing that you see, it was April 5th, 2024. So did the trustees already appoint Mayor Lightfoot before they even voted on it? Or they just did the vote, but she was already in there because the 8th was the meeting, but here it said that she was already appointed. I was just bringing that up because um, we looked at that and we saw that they said it was an inside. You'll see right here, it says she's there to investigate into retaliation and the SA allegations stemming from a trip by village officials to Las Vegas last year, according to multiple sources with close, let me show you all this, uh-huh, says with close knowledge of the situation. Mm -hmm. So that means that somebody had already knew that, and this probably wasn't supposed to be written like that on the 5th, but it was, and they put it out there and said she was already appointed. That's all I, I wanted to say about that, right? Okay, so um, Lori Lightfoot was a former federal prosecutor. Hopefully, she will do her job to 110% without any bias or conflict of interest or anything like that. And she made a statement 
you know, on that. And I say something about that statement in a minute, you know, but that mud while in hand is good at getting into people's head and manipulating people. And it might be hard to do with Miss Lightfoot, but you better believe the hen is going to try. Uh-huh. See, the hen is the expert at manipulating people. She is. And lying her way out of any situation. She, you know, we done call her in so many lies. She lie like a rug, you know? So, Lori Lightfoot investigating the hen will be very challenging. And something the people is going to have to watch very closely. Stay woke. I'm still not really sold on this decision, but hey, I'm not a resident of Dalton, okay? Um, I'm just someone who used their voice to bring awareness to the situation, to the disturbing situations that was going on in Dalton, okay, regarding that hen. Now, if the trustees and the residents of Dalton are happy with Ms. Laura Lightfoot investigation with the hen, that's all that matters. As long as they are happy, that's all that matters. You know, don't nothing else really matter but the trustees and the residents being happy and content with how things might be coming around and looking up and going in a better direction, okay? So, um, as long as they happy, we, we cool, but we will stay woke and keep watching, um, you know, Lord Lori Lightfoot did ensure the Dalton trustees and the residents that she will do her job at the best of her ability. And I'm glad that it was um, a resident there. It was a guy. He wanted to know some important questions from Miss Lightfoot during this meeting. And he said this right here. Uh, this guy right here, he asked an important question that we all wanted to know. And quite frankly, I am glad that he asked that question because that was a very, very important question that he asked. Now, this is what he said. I saw some pictures with you and Tiffany together at some events we want to make sure you don't have a personal relationship with Tiffany Henyard. That's what he said. And that was one of our biz biggest questions as well. Okay. And a lot of other people questions throughout this world who are really in support of Dalton residents. Okay. So now Miss Lori Lightfoot, she answered and she said, I obviously know Tiffany Henyard as I do other mayors in the Southland, having been the mayor of Chicago. I'm not surprised you will see pictures of me and Miss Henyard, and Miss Henyard take a lot of pictures, you know, basically with a lot of people. She said, I can assure you, I don't have a personal relationship with her. Last time I con had contact with her was about three plus years ago right after she was sworn into Dalton. I value my reputation and integrity. I would not have taken on this assignment if I felt it was any conflict of interest. That's what she said to this uh, gentleman here. And so, but I am glad that he answered, you know, he got that question answered for people and he did ask that. And I did hear some of the crowd like, oh, you know, like telling him to sit down or, oh, you know, they were saying some little things like, yeah, well, you know, next, you know, like, like, let's bring somebody else up here. But see, that's the thing about us not wanting to be transparent in asking questions. We act like because someone is who they are, we are not allowed to ask tough questions. Yes, we are. And asking tough questions, you might realize that things ain't all what it seems to be. But if you're scared to ask the question, you would never know. And then when you fall into that quicksand, that's when everybody's like, oh, well, how did we get here? Because you don't like to ask tough questions, okay? But I am glad 
she answered that question and I'm glad she answered it in the way that she did. Okay. Um, and like I said, we will keep our eyes on the Dalton situation and hopefully it will be a turnaround in the right direction. You know, my team has spent over 30 years ourselves um, investigating things as well. So, you know, they used to call us for those whole over 30 years. They used to call us the dream team troubleshooters. But that's what we did. So if I smell stank, stank, I will call it out. Rather, people want to hear it or not. Okay, because sometimes the truth can be hard to hear and hurtful to hear and people don't want to hear it but i'm the type whether you want to hear the truth or not i'm going to tell you regardless point blank period you know our concerns is the resident of dalton whatever they find out with the hen i just hope it don't be downplayed okay uh that's another thing but hey i they on board with it, so we happy with it, you know, it, it, we don't have to live there, they the ones do, now, let's talk about this right here, because little man was at the meeting with his grandmother and his uncle, and the trustees, and you know, the people there, gave little man an Easter basket, because if you remember, him and his family was at Tiffany Henyard's Mud, Wild, and Turkey Easter event. And Lacey and his goons threw Little Man and his grandmother and his uncle out of the Easter event, which Tiffany said was for the kids. But evidently it wasn't for that kid, you know. Uh, if she don't like the parents... You can't come to her event. That's basically what it showed. You know, that's what it was given. Point blank period. They put them out. And they bum rushed them out. It wasn't just no, hey, you got to leave. Oh, no. They, they getting up the radios. They got the hands on the gear. They got the hands on their equipment. They got the hands on the radio. All that. You know, it was bum rushing that family out of there. And the family was asking, you know, hey, I don't have a problem, this, that. But anyway, they bum-rushed his family out of the Easter event. And the little boy wasn't able to enjoy Easter with the rest of the kids. He wasn't able to play with some of his friends. You know he had little friends around in that park. He wasn't able to do anything. And they was highly embarrassed in front of all those people getting put out the park. Okay? And you know the little boy was embarrassed. You know when he went to school the next day. People talked about it. You know how kids do and kids tease. They don't know the severity of teasing someone. But you know he most likely got teased too. Oh, you know, your family got put out and all that. So it was very heartbreaking and embarrassing. But anyway, at the meeting, they gave him a basket. And the Knowledge family, ourself, um, we are still going to give little man something as well. Um, but this is his basket and, uh, that's the Easter bunny came up to him at the meeting and gave little man a Easter basket. How beautiful. That was so beautiful, family. So beautiful. Yep. And I actually enjoyed just the look on his face. He, family, it was a total... Totally different look from what he had when they put him out. You know, when they put him out, he was crying. It's it's like, it was unbelievable. But seeing the smile on his face was so warming. And, you know, it almost brought tears to my eyes because he was so happy to see the Easter Bunny with the basket and he had a big basket too so shout out to them for doing that great 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 um that was beautiful there now let's talk about all the mud wildings uh-huh let's talk about the mud wilding hen and 
her Get Fresh Funky crew. Okay? Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Because, see, uh, it was a no-show. All of them who usually be talking wasn't there. So what was the problem with that? Uh-huh. What was the problem? Nobody showed up. Said Tiffany Hen. No answer. Tiffany Hen. No answer. See, I would have told them, hey, has anybody checked the mud peeing in the backyard to see if Tiffany back there? Because uh, she might be back there in that mud peeing in the backyard. Y'all go check there, and then y'all might find her. Mm -hmm. Then they called the Stan Brown. He ain't hear nothing. Uh-huh. They called him. They called old Crunchy Munch. They ain't seen him. They ain't, and I was like, See, I couldn't have been there because I would have said, hey, has anybody checked the rat cage for the Stan Brown? Ain't nothing but a little rat, sneaky rat, too. Yes, yes, yes. Has anybody seen him? Nope, he absent. The Andrew Holmes. Uh-huh. This one right here. He didn't show. Didn't show at all. They saying Andrew Holmes. He didn't say nothing. I would have said, has anybody checked the doghouse for Andrew Jones or Holmes or whatever his name is, Holmes? I would have asked had they looked in a doghouse for him. Uh-huh, because he allegedly has the accusations of that mishap that happened down there in Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. And the hen ain't talking about it either. Yes. And then... You had a home girl here, Kim, right here. You know, she didn't show. Normally, she's sitting right up there with the hen. She is the one that said, May I like foot spend money all the time like that? But now that she do it, it's a problem. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to play that video for y'all next. Uh, I'm going to play that audio for y'all next uh, video for real, for real, because I want y'all to hear that. Because actually she was trying. It sounded like she was throwing Lightfoot up under the bus just to justify what the hen is doing. Mm-hmm. But, you know. Yeah. But then they had us Keith Freeman over here. He didn't go either. He didn't go either. When is the last time anybody checked the city hall? Because last time anybody seen him, he was up in the city hall locking the old ladies out of that building. Maybe he was up in there still guarding city hall. Why was he absent? He was absent too. Then you had the Lewis Lacey. Oh, yeah. The goon. You had him. The Lewis Lacey. Has anyone checked the dog cage? At the Chippendale Club house. It's a dog cage at the Chippendale's dog house. If they checked there, they might have would have found Louis Lacey. They might would have found Louis Lacey. But he was absent as well. Yeah, with those tight ass chicks on he had on. But anyway, why was the mud wilding hen and her goons absent doing this major important Dawson meeting? Why was that? Why was that? Why was the mud while in here and the funky fresh crew uh, missing? This was very important. Any other time, they front and center. But they was missing this time. Why is that? Yeah. See, Tiffany have the right to veto this because now they do have Miss Lori Lightfoot investigating the hen and a lot of other little situations, okay? But she has the right to veto that decision as well. And then the trustees will have to come back and override that. So a lot of people are waiting on Tiffany to veto this uh, decision. But actually, family, I don't think Tiffany will veto this one because it's Miss Lightfoot. Yes, I don't think she will because I don't think she want any smoke with Miss Lightfoot. Because, see, if you veto it, then that means you're saying to Miss Lightfoot, you don't want her to come in and make her money and do her job. So then it'll get real messy then. Because then the board will have to go back and override Tiffany veto. 
You see? So I don't think Tiffany wants to step on Miss Lori Lightfoot toes like that. So I really don't think she's going to veto that decision. No, I don't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't think she's going to do it. But Lacey, that's what I want to talk about. Lacey and the hen and Andrew Holmes. Lacey, the hen, and Andrew Holmes, they should have been the first three there at that meeting, front and center. They was definitely supposed to be at that meeting. Where was the hen and her goons? See, the female Nino Brown and the Get Fresh Funky crew, they all absent. But the thing is, they knew how to come in that meeting acting like she was Nino Brown and they was the goons. Why didn't she go into that meeting? Why, Tiffany, why didn't you shashay in that meeting like Nino Brown checking Miss Lightfoot and them trustees? Why you didn't do that? See, that's why I say she know who to play with and who not to play with. You know, but my thing is, why didn't you go up in that meet meeting like Nino Brown, D. Bowen, Lori Lightfoot, the trustees, and the community that day? Why you didn't do in this last meeting? They couldn't be found. And then you have old Lacey. I noticed during the meeting, family, that a lot of women were saying that Lacey is very, very has disturbing behavior. He's very disrespectful to the community. And they want something done about the police officers and Lacey. They say that that police department is bullying people, intimidating people, and they just treating them very bad because they speak up. And because they have seen them on the news talking or because they stand up in meetings and be talking that Lacey and his goons retaliate against them. So I noticed they were saying that in that meeting too, family. And you can hear it in their voice that they are terrified of Lacey and that police department. Now they were speaking real strong, but you can tell that they have some fear of that Dalton Police Department and Lacey's goons and Lacey because they said that they be ticketing them, harassing them, bullying them, bullying visitors and all that. And Lacey, they also was saying that Lacey have such a disturbing behavior and he's always pointing towards women. And I'm going to talk about that too in a minute. But see, Lacey have all this disturbing behavior and they want Lacey to be investigated. They want him to be investigated and the whole entire Dalton Police Department to be investigated. So they was asking for an investigation, not only into the hen, but into Lacey and that police department as well. But I, I could tell you right now, most likely... Uh, that will be coming down the pipeline that that uh, police department and Lacey will be investigating uh, that department. Because you have to understand the FBI and the attorney general are still watching this whole thing very carefully. And the FBI are conducting their own investigation. And what was kind of explained, family, is that they asked Ms. Laura Lightfoot to come in. Because a FBI investigation could take anywhere from six months to five years, six years, okay? And they don't want to wait that long. They just want to hurry up and get somebody in there so they can see where they stand for is city-wise, the city finance. You know, how is the city financial status at this time? So that's why they went on ahead and hired an investigator to come in and check it out. Okay. So, um, but 
the FBI and the Attorney General are still watching this because remind you, Tiffany still hasn't handed over the requested documents that the Attorney General asked for. He asked for those receipts and she still have not given them up. He asked for them and her deadline was March 15th, which is almost a month now. And she still has not given up those receipts. So she's a month past due on that. You think he's going to let that slide? No, he's not. Most likely Tiffany think he's going to let it slide. But no, it's, it's not going to happen that way. You know, but um, Lacey, why is it that 90% of the citizens you bully, intimidate, are women and elderly women? Lacey harass the women all the time in that community. Now, that's what they say. You know, and I've noticed that, too, when the ones who are talking, it's basically women. I really haven't heard the men say too much about Lacey like the women. It's always the women saying, well, you know, he did this to us. You know, he gave me a ticket. He pulled me over. He harassed me. He was rough with me and all that. It's always about 90% women that Lacey is always picking on. Why is that, Lacey? Why is it that you seem to only can debo with your little badge women and elderly women? Bullying and deboing the women in that community. And he finds something to pick on them about. Because that's what they were saying, family. They said he finds something to pick on women about. Why is that? Why is that? See, that's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. What do they tell us about Lacey? Yeah, he's a coward. And he got daddy issues and mama issues, most likely. Because I'm trying to figure out why would a man... With a badge, you know, I mean, you're not making this thing even. He always pointing out women, 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 women. So why is that? He got daddy issues and mama issues. That's what is given. Yeah, because see, people like him. Mm -hmm. People like him, this is what they call him. Mm -hmm. You already know. People who seems to just dislike women all the time. That's what it is right there. Misogyny. That's what they say those type of men are. Where he always have to find a problem with women. He always have to bully women. He always have to intimidate women. He always have to be rough with women. He always seem to have a problem with women. I'm going to let y'all hear that audio too. With him going back and forth with a trustee. It's like, why? Why? And that trustee was a woman. But now if the men say something, he ain't got too much to say about it. He ain't got too much to say about them. Mm -mm. He don't buck up that quick when it comes to a man. He only bucks up when it comes to the elderly women and females. Why is that, Lacey? Why is that? Because, mm -hmm. see, he will prepare his power to make a woman feel miserable. That's what he does. That's exactly what he does. That's exactly what he does. Old Lacey right here. He prepares his power to make women feel miserable. Every day throughout that little community. It's giving woman hater. He gets off on treating women badly. I mean, there's an incident. I saw a video family where it's a lady that had, they said that she do have some type of uh, illness upstairs, you know, and he arrested her. It was him and a Caucasian officer took her to the police department and the lady was acting real erratic, like she wasn't harming them, 
looked like she was trying to harm herself. So the Caucasian officer was going to help her and try to stop her from helping herself. Lacey pulled that man back, like let her go head on and hurt herself. If she hurt herself, she hurt herself. If she do something to herself, she do something to herself. That ain't our problem. Straight up nasty. Straight up nasty. And when I saw that, I just dropped my head. He did not even care. And see, when you have a person in custody, that person is still up under your care. The lady looked like she was having some type of, um, you know how they have seizures and they have things like that. She looked like she was, she was, and that officer wanted to help. Lacey pulled him back and then like dared him. He better not let her do what she do. That's less problems off our hands. What? Just low down dirty. But see, that was a woman. And so I noticed that that meeting, that's all who was really complaining about Lacey was the women. You know? And the men in that community who is those women loved ones, they really can't say anything because then Lacey and his goons going to go after the men of the women in the family. You know, they're going to go after the men who they have a problem with the female. Then if the men stand up for their female loved one, then they are a target for Lacey and his goons. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And these people are going through this 24 hours a day, every day, all day. Why is that? Because when he treats women and elderly women with so much disturbing behavior, he actually feels good about himself. He feels like he has accomplished the world when he treats these women like that. Lacey gets a pleasure out of bullying these women, harassing these women, and intimidating these women. That's why I said he's a coward with daddy issues and mama issues. That's what it's given. It's no way an officer should just constantly uh, be bullying and harassing and intimidating females. Like it's no men in the damn city. That's his, that's his main target. I seen them. They got so many things on social media. He pulled over a lady. She was riding in a drop top. He just had to aggravate her. Didn't do nothing wrong. He just got to aggravate you. And then when he pulls you over, it ain't nothing respectable or nice. How you doing? Uh, license and registration. It's like nasty. He come off, off jump nasty. Yes, he do. Yes, he do. It's disturbing. It's very disturbing to hear those stories at those meetings. And it seems like every meeting, somebody is saying, I'm scared of the Dalton police officers. I mean, I'm afraid of them. I'm afraid. I don't even like call. I, I'm too scared to call 911 because I'm afraid of them. What? Where they do that at in the United States? This is unreal. Unbelievable. It really is. But each person in Dalton who are having these disturbing problems from Lacey and his goons, all y'all got to do is go to the FBI and Attorney General. That's all you have to do. When they ticket y'all for no reason, go to the FBI Attorney General. When they invade your civil rights, Go straight to the FBI Attorney General. When they bullying and intimidating y'all for no reason, go straight to the FBI and Attorney, Attorney General. See, let me tell you something. Yeah, see, I do report on these stories and I use my voice to try to help, you know, the residents in Dalton. But I also try to find a solution for it. And you talking about a solution for this? For Lacey's disturbing behavior and his goons all you got to do 
is go to the FBI and the Attorney General every time. Every time. It take y'all all when you, the ones who getting all this stuff against them and being treated bad, go up there and tell them. Don't just go home and lay down and, and, and just wish it go away. Because evidently, if y'all been dealing with this for years and years, it ain't going nowhere. You got to go through the pop proper channels. You got to go through the correct channels to get someone to come in and check this out. And the people to do that is the FBI and the Attorney General. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. See, when they making these false arrests, you know, you go to the FBI and Attorney General. Because you can't go to your police department because, remember, everybody's scared of them. So, who else? And then they said some of other cities or something like that, you know, they don't really want to deal with these goons either. So, the best option is the FBI and the Attorney General. Keep reporting it. You keep reporting it. If y'all have to report it every day, all day. They'll get some straightening. Mm-hmm. You just can't impose and infringe on people's civil rights just because you're doing it out of retaliation. No, no, that that's that's not how it go. That's not that, that that's not what police are supposed to do. But this right here is unreal. And that's how you stop Lacey and his goons. That's how you get some. At right from Lacey and his goons go to the FBI and the Attorney General office and tell them exactly what's going down, what's going on, show them your tickets, all that. Pull out your cell phone, record all that. Uh-huh. Because see, Lacey already shaking in his boots because he already have in the disturbing past. He's already shaking in his boots. His past history of policing is disturbing. And he's still running around there doing the exact same thing. That's what he's giving. That's what he's giving. You know? And like I said, I'm trying to give y'all some good tea to help the residents of Dalton and a solution to the problem. And that's your solution right there. FBI and Attorney General's office. Uh-huh. They'll come in now. They get tired of looking at y'all running up there every day, all day. They will do something about it. Yes, they will. Uh-huh. Yes. But I want to say something that people might not like what I'm going to say. But I always keep it real, keep it truthful, and I keep it funky. Regardless, you know, sometimes the truth will hurt your feelings. But I'm getting ready to say something that might hurt some feelings. But it has to be said. But if Lacey was another color chief dishing the city all this disrespect and bullying people, violating the citizens' rights and violating the citizens' civil rights, y'all would have been protest to get that man of another color up out of there. But, since it's Lacey, what's the difference? Because he black. Because if you don't accept corruption behavior from another police officer of another color, why accept corruption behavior from a police officer of your own skin color? Uh-uh. See, I never could understand that. Why is it that we can raise so much sand when a police officer do people wrong that's another color? But when it's our skin color, you don't say raise that much hair. Why is that? Because I'm like this. I don't care what color you is. You violate my rights. You bullying me. You harassing me. You retaliating against me. If I don't truck it real fast going about 80 miles an hour to the FBI office and attorney general. We going to get some straightening. I don't give a damn what color you is. 
uh uh color does not make a difference when it comes to my rights and my civil rights and you infringing on it and you bullying me and you intimidating me and being very disrespectful and violating me every time, every chance you get. Oh, no, that ain't going to happen. That ain't going to happen. That ain't going to happen. You know, so I don't understand why uh, ain't nobody doing nothing about Lacey. He ain't no difference. Nah. Mm-mm. I know if he would have been in my town, oh, he would have been gone. They don't play that. They don't play that. You know? And like I said, in all the, the states that I travel in and be in and reside in, none of them states play the radio. No, nah, uh-uh. No. And that's not finna have nobody like Lacey. Just vi every time you get in your car, woo, they pulling you over. Every time you get ready to go to the store, woo, they pulling you over. Every time you get ready to speak at a meeting, and then after you do speak at the meeting and you get ready to get in your car, you got a ticket on there. Or you could be walking. Woo, they want to stop and frisk. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You got to go. You got to go, milk dud. I bet you get up out of here. Yeah. He wouldn't be able to do that. And it's a lot of cities around the United States. Lacey would not be able to get away with that. So anyway, uh, I want to talk about the hen. Boy, this mud wilding hen. Mud wilding. Girl, you was absent at the most important meeting. I thought mayor's supposed to attend meetings like this. I didn't know that you had the option just to be missing and all that. Because, see, you find your way to Vegas. You find your way to Paris. You find your way to uh, Atlanta, they said. You find your way to New York, because they said that's where all your trips was. You can find your way there to all those places, but you couldn't find your way to your job that's paying you to be there. You don't attend that. You don't find your way there. What? So let's get this right. You don't appear at your job. You just leave them hanging. Do a no-show. Do an absentee. You know, pull off a magical disappearance move, okay? But then when it's time for y'all to get on those airplanes to go splurge and spend all the taxpayer dollars, you show up for that. Are you serious right now? But anyway, they said at the meeting family, check this out. They said that, uh, oh yeah, Tiffany, they said they uh, they're going to be skating on June the 7th. They're going to be skating. I don't think it's at the ice skating rink, but I do think it's at a skating rink because they said that uh, everybody is invited on June the 7th and all that. So, hey, they making moves without you anyway, Tiffany. Yeah, I told they about tired of you, okay? Everybody about tired of you. But anyway, family, they said that um, Tiffany, Tiffany, was you spending all this type of money? And they, this is only just a little bit of what they told. But family, they called out a list and they said they're going to remove these items from the list because they're not going to let the city pay for these items because evidently it wasn't for the city. It was for the hen and her goons, okay? But Tiffany, they said you got a bill at the barbecue shack place, okay, for $600. Then they said that you got a pizza uh, place, a bill of $131. Then they say a Cooper place or something, you got $557. At Dollar Tree, over $100. Food for Less, over $107. Uh, tasty crabs. They said you've been eating that 
Tasty Crabs, girl, was you and your goon at Tasty Crabs. They said that you spent $458 at Tasty Crab. What was y'all eating? Who went with you to uh, Tasty Crab? Was it you and the tricycle chaser ran up that bill? Or was it you, the tricycle chaser, and your goons? Who all ate Tasty Crabs? That's what we want to know. Mm -hmm. Just spending money like crazy. Then they said something about some jerk place or something. That's $1,356. Then they said a Hertz barbecue. $676. Girl, who is y'all? Who is all eating at the... What was going... Girl, you just throwing them people money away. That's what it's giving. And then they said something about a tamales place. $2,400. And skate supplies. That look, ice skating rink family. They said the skate supplies is seventeen thousand and five hundred dollars. Tiffany, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, yeah. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. But see, they say you make over three hundred thousand dollars a year. Why didn't you pay for all this stuff out your salary? Why did you have to mess with the taxpayers' dollars? See, that's that swindling. That's that swindling. Mm-hmm. That's that Nino Brown behavior. I'm trying to still figure out why she didn't bust up in that meeting like Nino Brown, uh, number two. Because she did it before. Why she didn't do it again? Yeah, this was the time she so-called supposed to have been doing it. They talking about him, me being investigated and then Lori Lightfoot is there. Oh, that finna shut all this down. Why you didn't bust up in there and shut all of it down like Nino Brown? Why you didn't shut it down? Mm-hmm. Because, see, when you did it that first time, you knew everybody was kind of timid and scared of you. Uh-huh. But, see, now people done got a backbone. And you don't know how to deal with that. That's how bullies do. Bullies don't like for people to stand up to them. And especially when it's a lot of people standing up to them. They hide in their shell then. They hide in the house and don't want to come out. Isn't that something? Mm-hmm. All you got to do is stand up to a bully and they'll fall back real quick. You see what Tiffany doing? She's absent. She's a no-show. Because you're standing up to the bully. Mm-hmm. Even Lacey wasn't there. At least, Lacey, I thought y'all supposed to have been police in the city. And some people said they didn't see a police car in sight at this meeting. They said they didn't see a police car in sight. So was y'all also trying to go on strike on the people? That if anything happened, y'all wasn't going to help out? Because it's a lot of people allegedly said they didn't see a dolphin police car in sight. Patrolling nothing. Uh, watching out for the citizens. None of that. It's like y'all went on strike alone with y'all mud while in here. Mm-hmm. That's what they say. Now, uh, then family, Tiffany, they said some type of business you done spent $48,000 on. Some type of concrete, too, you spent $14,100 on. A five star, you spent $122,000. Then there's something they were saying about a tree. I couldn't really catch what Jason was saying, but I know it was $155,000. Then they uh they called out a K K and M Adventures or something. That was a hundred and eighty three thousand dollars. Wow, one hundred and eighty three thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars. Then they said some type of Lopez maintenance was ten thousand dollars, and some type of design place was sixty five thousand seven hundred dollars. We're gonna talk about that too in a minute, family. Then it was another place family. She spent $32,300. Another place she spent $181,900. Then another place she spent $34,700. Now let me get on to this uh, design place that had $65,000. That family was, they said, it was supposed to have been for Christmas ornaments that the hen and throwed all around there, the city. Okay, and the company said that they haven't been paid. 
But the trustees was told by the Henian or the Henian financial person that they did send a check to this company. But that business said they never received a check or any type of form of payment. Okay? Now, Tiffany's finance, finance director told the trustees in a meeting in March, they had a meeting in March, and Tiffany's finance director told the trustees they paid the company $65,000 in cash. Stop the press. Stop the press. Y'all gave that company $65,000 in cash. Where's the receipt? And family, that company keep telling the trustees up until this day, they have not ever received payment from the hand and her administration at all. Point blank period. They said they haven't received it. But they're going to try to tell trustees, yes, we did, Pam. They said, well, let us see the receipts. Or, you know, they have a checkbook for the city. So they was like, what check did y'all use? Oh, no, we ain't do all that. We just paid them in cash. What? Y'all ought to quit. Y'all ain't paid them folks with no cash, allegedly. Them folks keep asking for their money. They asking for their money. They said they begging for their money. But you let Tiffany and her goons tell it. They paid the people in cash. But can't nobody fork up no receipts for it. Where that money go, Tiffany? And that finance director. Where is that $65,000? Did it get lost somewhere? Or, see, the next thing they're going to say, oh, we paid it in cash and we mailed it. Really? Really? Where them receipts at, Tiffany? Don't holler that y'all lost the receipts. Because, see, Tiffany is the one that did a TikTok video with those stacks of paper. I showed it to y'all, family. Had a stack of papers saying, here go the receipts. Here go all the receipts right here. Oh, y'all going to feel bad. Y'all going to feel bad. See, that's what y'all get. Here go all the receipts right here. Everybody going to be shocked. Stop lying on me. Stop lying on me. Here go all the receipts. And then when it was time to bring all those receipts to this meeting with the trustees and Miss Lightfoot and everybody in the residence, she do a no-show. She don't come and the receipts don't either. Uh-uh. Who paid the vendor? That's what we want to know because them people say that's the design people. Now they say they want their money. Y'all got all them Christmas ornaments and all that that the hen ordered. And them people say they have not got their money at all. And then that $17,000 for skate supplies. She done spent $17,000 on her and her goons and her family and friends for skates. Because, see, only they use the ice skating rink when they having a special event. It's not for the public. So those skates wasn't for the public. Everybody most likely have custom-made ice skates. I bet you that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Everybody got custom-made ice skates. Mm-hmm. $17,000. Yeah. Hey, girl, what size you wear? Oh, girl, I wear eight. Oh, girl, what size you wear? Oh, I wear six and a half. Hey, homeboy, what size you wear? Oh, I wear 12 and a half. Yeah, everybody doesn't seem like they got custom-made skates for $17,000. Wow. And the only time that place is used is when she using it. Her and her goons using it. Uh-huh. So, y'all see right here, the stack of papers. This is the TikTok video she did telling everybody, uh-huh, yeah, see, uh, here go all the receipts. Y'all gonna feel real bad when y'all see I got all the receipts. Mm -hmm. Where the receipts at? Where the receipt said? There it go right there, family. She was bragging on this paperwork about how all the receipts are right here and that she was going to produce these receipts to the trustees. 
she was telling everybody how she was going to make them look stupid and all this right here because she got receipts. Stop lying on me. But then she don't show up and she do not even send the receipts in a packet so that the trustees can have it for the meeting. Why is that, Tiffany? And the hen was a no-show once again and won't bring those receipts and won't face the situation about that R-word um, situation that happened in Vegas. Wow. Do the hens and her goons know exactly how trifling they look to the world right about now when they didn't show up to that meeting? And... Of course, they probably don't care because they want to be gangsters and goons. That's how gangsters and goons roll. They don't care about nothing but themselves. And they can't get their hands on that money no more. So it's damn near F the world. Well, F the little city. Because they can't play their games no more. You know what I'm saying? Well, I can tell you right now, all that stuff I just called out, Tiffany, that they said that you've been spending, they said they're not paying them bills now. They ruled that off. They are not paying those bills. Uh-uh. So now those bills are left up to you to pay, so you might as well go in your bank account and start paying it. I know that, ooh, y'all privilege card has been revoked. They are not letting y'all swipe that city card no more. See, they feeling sick right about now because they can't use that city card to swipe, 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 and then don't have to account for any of it. They used to just spinning, and, hey, we'll just make up something. That's what is given. But now the privilege card is revoked and they can't even do it no more. So you know they feeling bad. Uh-huh. Now everybody gonna start eating on post sandwiches. Everybody gonna start eating post sandwiches. There ain't no more of that crab shack, barbecue joint, and all these five star and all that. Now everybody finna break out. The peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Mm-hmm. Because, baby, according to all this stuff they called out, and that was just a little bit they told us about, they really didn't tell us about everything. That was a lot within itself. Yes, it was. See, now the hen is in reset mode. Now she sitting back trying to reset herself. Mm-hmm. That's what it's given. That's what it's given. I can tell y'all right now. Like I said, y'all want to know the real, the real reason there was a no-show is because most likely they was having their own private meeting on how to come about this. Yes. See, why everybody was over there at that Dalton board meeting, they were somewhere having their own meeting. Trying to come up with a plan. How to scapegoat their way out of all this mess. Yes, they was. Mm -hmm. Coming up with alibi lies. Yeah. Most likely, that's exactly what they was doing. Mm -hmm. Mud hat. That, ooh, that mud hen won't address nothing. And that's the mayor. And she's just as quiet and that young lady that allegedly that happened to her in Vegas, she was brave enough to tell the world what allegedly happened to her. And the hen and her goons are quiet about this whole situation. They are quiet about these disturbing allegations. The hen told people she did an independent investigation on this matter. But nobody has seen any proof that an independent investigation was ever done. Totally disturbing. 
totally disturbing. She lied too much. She lied like a rug. She still haven't produced anything showing. And the trustees are waiting on it. Everybody is waiting on this so-called, she says she did an independent investigation. She still hasn't fucked up that information. Wow. This mud while in hen is trifling at the highest level. Yes. Yes. At the highest level. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And this right here, family. Her homeboy, Andrew Home. Uh-huh. All of them falling behind the mud while in hen. Just a mud while in hen. Now, Andrew Holmes. He always got on a Batman cape throughout the city, always somewhere saving somebody. Every time I think, you know, it looked like he be setting these things up allegedly because it seems like every time something happens, every time it's a big crime that happens, he always there to save the day. He always somewhere, oh, here I go, like he got on a Batman outfit. That's why I got him right here on this cape, that Batman cape. He he be all over the city. Every time something happened, he smack dead in the middle of it. He has done saved the day. What? I noticed that. I was looking, we was looking at some articles and stuff. Every time something happened, it seems like he's always there saying, oh, well, you know, I had to do this and I had to. It was somebody family. He going to say he caught a crook who jumped in his car. The crook jumped in his car and sped off and. Andrew Holmes said he ran behind the crook, behind the car, 10 to 12 blocks until he caught the man. What? Yo, old butt. What? Show us the video of you doing that. He just happened to be there. When the news people came, they said, well, how did you catch him? He said, oh, whoo. I ran 10 to 12 blocks. I saw him when he jumped in his car. And I said, oh, I can't let him get away. So I ran behind him. And boy, he was moving and I was moving. I ran 10, 12 blocks until I caught up with him. And I said, hey, you know what you did back there? And I held him down until y'all came. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. Stop the press. See, why did the news media even put that story out? See, when that man said all that on that news media, they should have quickly got back to the office and said, no, nah, we ain't going to put this one out. We ain't going to even put this out because uh, you could tell he was lying. We, that, that old ass man has not ran no 10, 12 blocks after a car that speed. Think about it, family. If a car speed off, how many blocks are y'all going to be able to go and then catch the car? Ten blocks down. And that car is speeding, getting away. But y'all catch them ten, twelve blocks down on your feet. Stop the cap. Now, you might can give a description of the car. You might can tell what the tag was. But you damn sure ain't got on them old ass 60 something your old feet. 50 or 60 your old feet and track that car down off your feet trying to play Batman. No, he did. Show me the video. I wouldn't even put that out if I was the news people. I'd have been like, nah, I ain't finna put this out. I, I I put some of the story out, but I'm going to cut out and edit the part where he talking about he ran behind the car for 10 to 12 blocks and caught the guy. Boy, bye. Anyway, family, he always playing Batman. He's somewhere saving the day around Chicago and Zorton. Let him tell it. 
You know? But my thing is, he want to show up like Batman to everything that happened around the city. But he couldn't show up like Batman to that board trustee meeting in Dalton. Why is that, Holmes? Why is that? Now, he want to use his Batman cape for everything. But he won't use his Batman cape to save his own ass. Because all he had to do was go in there and clear his name. But he did. Why is that? Mm-hmm. See, I pay attention to a lot of things. Because any other time, you Batman save a lot. But then when it comes down to you saving your own butt, you disappear. We don't see you. You take care of all crimes. You everywhere crime is. Saving the day. Saving the residents. Why you wasn't at that meeting saving your ass? That's what I want to know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because, see, you have, that lady said, alleged something happened to her down there in Vegas. Why you don't have on that Batman cape, you know, defending your name? That's what I'm trying to figure out. But anyway, he want to show up to everything but the trustee board meeting. Why is he missing in action? Why are you missing in action when the crime or whatever alleged crime got something to do with you? You had other people crime scene and trying to make sure that they get held accountable, but you ain't addressing allegedly what happened in Vegas. You're missing, missing in action. Mm hmm. Now, he turned his own brother in. That's how much of a Batman save a lot he's supposed to be. Remember that, Holmes? Let me tell y'all about the family in case you don't know. He got a brother. His brother is right here. Okay, this is his brother. This is his brother. And this is his brother getting arrested. Well, old Holmes here, he not only ran some man or whoever down a while back, 10 blocks, he say, on foot, running behind a car until he caught the bad guy. He caught the bad guy and held the bad guy down for the cops until the cops got there, okay? That's a whole nother situation. Now it comes to his brother. His brother was allegedly spotted taking packages off people porches, okay? Then everybody kind of knew who it was stealing packages off the people porches in the neighborhood. So Holmes here got word of it. So he goes up to his brother family and he said, hey, you know you want it for stealing packages, don't you? Off people porches. And his brother said, oh, well, yeah, whatever. Now he say his brother have some type of addiction, allegedly. We don't know. Because him and the hen, you know, anybody be around the hen, I feel a lie like a rug. I feel the 10 to 12 blocks was a lie, okay? That's just my opinion, okay? So birds of the feather flocks together, okay? Yes, yes, yes. I'm telling you, every time they open up their mouth, it's like bird shit. Mess everywhere. But anyway, uh... Then they say that he turns his brother in. He tells his brother, now you know I got to turn you in, brother. Because, you know, I'm a good Samaritan and all that. And you know, I just can't let you go around here taking and stealing people packages off the porch. So, I'm going to have to call. You're going to have to stay right here with me. I'm going to call the law and they're going to come and get you. So, that's his brother being arrested by the law because Holmes turned his brother in for stealing packages 
off of people porch, okay? And you'll see the news that was like Channel 2 News. You'll see that he is saying, Holmes is saying, wrong is wrong. So Holmes said, wrong is wrong. He don't care who you is. You could be related to him. You could be his brother, his sister, whatever. He going to turn you in if he see that you doing something wrong, okay? Well, brother, uh, Holmes' brother, where you at? We need to know where his brother at. Where you at, brother? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Because now it's your turn to turn him in and to bring him into the trustee meeting so he could tell exactly what happened over there in Vegas. Allegedly. Uh-huh. Oh, we want to know. We want, brother. See, he turned you in. So you go and you get him and you bring him to the trustee meeting so he could tell everybody what happened on that Vegas trip. If nothing happened, nothing happened. If something happened, something happened. But return the favor back to your homeboy brother. Uh huh. That's your brother. Brother, you know, uh, you might get yourself together and then you go head on and then now's your time to get him and say, hey, brother, now you know wrong is wrong. See, you got down. See, it's time for you to use that same line, brother. Go to Holmes, your brother, and say, hey, wrong is wrong. And I need to take you up here to this trustee board meeting so you could tell these people exactly what happened at that Vegas meeting down there. Uh-huh, go ahead on and clear your name, bruh. So, come on. I want you to walk down here with me. And I want you to tell the people, and I'm going to sit in the crowd, and I want you to tell them what happened. Because, see, wrong is wrong, brother. Yeah, see, brother, you need to get your get back. Because if my brother, I sure would. Wait a minute now. You mean to tell me you turned me in for taking packages off of a porch. Okay, I was wrong. Yes, I got a fine. I did some time or whatever for it. But now I get word that you allegedly got something to do with something that went stinky and sour down there at Vegas. So I'm going to have to take you by your hand now and bring you to the trustee board meeting and let you tell them. What's really going on? Because wrong is wrong. Yes, brother, you need to get your get back. You need to get your get back. But anyway, family, yes, he turned his own brother in. He turned his own brother in, and his brother needs to turn him in. See, that's his brother walking off after he took these people packages. And then this is brother uh, that uh, Batman save a lot. Done turned his brother in for taking packages. Uh-huh. Mud wallin, mud wallin hen and her goons. Yes. So now it's the brother's turn to just get him and say, hey, come on, brother. Now, I've been hearing the word around here. Don't know if it's true or not, but I do need to take you by your arm and bring you to the trustee board meeting mm -hmm. and explain what is and what ain't. How about that? Uh-huh. Holmes talking about what better person to find someone than your relative? If your relative do something bad and wrong, what other best person to come and get you but a relative? Because a relative know exactly where you are. Uh-huh. Well, your brother should know exactly where you are, too. So we're going to need him to see if he can convince you to come on down there to that trustee board meeting and tell about what this here lady is saying allegedly happened or whatever. And if it didn't, it didn't. And if it did, it did. We just want to know. That, oh, we just, I mean, we just saying. We ain't accusing you of nothing. We just said, take you by the hand and bring it down now and, and tell us. But for some reason, you ain't wearing the Batman save a lot cape no more. Why is that? Why is that? Uh-huh. You and your trout mouth friend. Uh-huh. You and your old trout mouth friend. Mud wildin' hen. Yeah. And why is her? Because I don't think y'all noticed this family. But she got a lot of big bags up under her eyes 
Why is her bag so thick? Because she ain't been sleeping, most likely. She worried. Her bags are bigger than my duffel bag I be traveling with. Just thick. Just thick. That let you know right there she worried. Uh-huh, because she didn't have those bags. When you look at some of these here jailhouse pictures, mug shots. Uh-huh. She didn't have those bags wasn't that thick. Her, her eyes was all right. Now you look at them, they puffy up under there like a duffel bag. Like a grocery bag full of food. Yeah. So that show right there, she worried. But my thing is, all these goons right here, family, I just wanted to bring to everybody's attention that she was a no-show. And we said that too, didn't we, family? We said that. The Monday of the meeting, right when the meeting, we said today is the day of the meeting. And I said they trying to come up with a plan where they don't have to show up. And they didn't show up. Why? How did I know that they weren't going to show up? Uh-huh. Because like I said, we have investigated plenty of goons like this. And mud wilding hens. And they backyard barbies. Yes, uh-huh. So what is the hen and her goons next move, family? Most likely, like I said, while everybody was at that board meeting Monday, they had their own little meeting together. They was all holding their own special meeting. And that's why some people say that they didn't even see any Dalton police's on the streets. Most likely, they was wherever the hen and her goons was at. And most likely, the mud wilding hen held a special meeting just for her and her goons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most likely, they was holding their own meeting, planning how to bully and manipulate their way out of this mess. Most likely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they most likely trying to come up with a master plan of deception to come up out this mess. Mm-hmm. So, we will definitely keep talking about this. As the village turns, that's exactly what is given. And... I'm going to let y'all hear those audios I'm talking about in the next video. I also want to talk about Shanquilla. Um, I want to touch base on Shanquilla's story as well in the next video. And then I'm going to talk about a couple of more other topics that I found very interesting. So stay tuned for the next video. It's going to be very informative that y'all would love to hear. But anyway, and I am definitely going to talk about um, Shanquilla because there's some things that I really want to say about Shanquilla's case. Uh, but in the meantime, what is the hen and her goons next move? I could tell you right now, it's full of deception, full of deceit. Yeah, deceitful behavior. Whatever it is that they planted. Is full of mud by the mud while in here. And that's all I got to say about that. Gain knowledge to prevent blockage. And we all know what that means. The more you know, the harder it is for anybody to block y'all from your goals and success. Bye-bye.